Introduction of Hippo Signal Pathway Produced by Creative Biomart In this video, I will introduce the Hippo Signal Pathway from several aspects, including background, Hippo Signaling in Drosophila, Hippo Signaling in Mammals, and Core Components. First, Background of Hippo Signaling Pathway the hippo signaling pathway is a conserved regulator of proliferation and cell survival in metazoans. The core of the pathway consists of a kinase cascade with the tumor suppressor hippo and its mammalian orthologs, MST1 and MSD2 as the upstream kinase. Hippo activation is coupled to diverse stimuli, including cell contact, cell stress, and growth factor receptor signaling. These stimuli engage the hippo pathway via multiple different signaling mechanisms that are cell type and cell context dependent. Notably, distinct mechanisms that control hippo signaling have been uncovered in hematopoietic, epithelial, and mesenchymal lineages, and in cells exposed to strong inducers of apoptosis. Secondly, hippo signaling pathway in Drosophila. The hippo signaling pathway was first identified in Drosophila through genetic screens for genes controlling of tissue growth. At the core of this signaling cascade is the hippokinase, which functions as a tumor suppressor and regulator of organ size. Hippo binds and phosphorylates the non-catalytic scaffold protein SAV, facilitating hippo-mediated phosphorylation and activation of the warts kinase. The latter acts with the adapter protein mats by direct binding. This cascade culminates in the WTS-mediated phosphorylation of the oncogenic transcriptional coactivator Yorkie. Yorkie is the critical downstream target of hippo signaling, as the overgrowth phenotypes observed in the hippo, SAV, or WTS laws of function mutants are associated with the constitutive nuclear localization of Yorkie, and correspondingly Yorkian activation rescues these phenotypes. As a result, Yorkie is bound by 1433 proteins, leading its cytoplasmic retention and consequent inactivation. Yorkie's function requires association with T domain family DNA binding transcription factors, including scalloped, homothorax, and T shirt. Key target genes activated by Yorkie include cyclin E, type 1, and the microbantum, which confer increased proliferation and defects in developmental apoptosis. Thirdly, hippo signaling pathway in mammals. All of the core components of the hippo signaling pathway are conserved and duplicated in mammalian genomes. The sterile 20-like kinases MST1 and MST2, orthologs of the Drosophila hippokinase, interact with the regulatory subunit SAV1 to form an active complex that can phosphorylate and activate the kinases LATS1 and LATS2, the direct orthologs of warts. LATS1 and 2 are regulated by the MATS orthologs, MOB1, which are also phosphorylated by MST1 and MST2 to enhance binding in the LATS1, 2 MOB1 complex. Activated LATS1 and 2 phosphorylates the transcriptional coactivator YAP on five different consensus HXRXXS motifs. Phosphorylation of SER381 primes YAP for subsequent phosphorylation by CK1 in a phosphatigrin, thereby promoting the recruitment of the SCF beta TRCPE3 ubiquitin ligase, which catalyzes YAP ubiquitination, ultimately leading to proteosomal degradation of YAP. Unphosphorylated YAP and TAS primarily localize in the nucleus, where they interact with DNA binding transcription factors M, such as T14 or SMAD proteins, in order to regulate a transcriptional program that promotes cell survival and proliferation. Fourthly, core components of hippo signaling pathway. Merlin were first identified as upstream regulators of hippo signaling through genetic screens in Drosophila. Merlin contains an N-terminal firm domain that comprises three subdomains organized into a cloverleaf-like structure, followed by a cold coiled domain and a charged C-terminal tail. In Drosophila, Merlin was shown to form an apical complex with Kipra, and together they activate SAV and WTS, leading to Yorkie phosphorylation and inactivation. Yeast 2 hybrid and biochemical studies indicated that Merlin directly binds to SAV through its N-terminal firm domain and Kipra through its C-terminal half. As members of the modin protein family, angiomodins are characterized by a conserved N-terminal glutamine-rich domain, followed by a cold coiled domain, and a C-terminal PDZ binding motif. Recent work has implicated the angiomodin family members in the regulation of hippo-yap signaling. At least under conditions used for amino precipitation, 
the angiomotins are arguably one of the strongest binding partners for YAP, as evidenced by four independent studies identifying them as major YAP-associated proteins. MST1 and 2 proteins involve in stress-induced apoptosis. In this context, MST1 and 2 are activated by autophosphorylation and caspase-dependent cleavage, which liberates the 35 keta and terminal kinase domain from a C-terminal autoinhibitory domain. Active kinase then translocates the nucleus, and promotes apoptosis by phosphorylating relevant substrates, such as histone H2B. MST1 and 2 activity is also regulated by heterodimerization with RAS family proteins. This interaction may activate MST1 and 2, by targeting MSD1 and 2 to their endogenous activators and substrates, or by liberating MSD1 and 2 from their inhibitors. The S-associated protein YAP, and WW domain containing transcription regulator 1, WWTR1, also known as TAS, are two transcription co-activators that act downstream of the hippotumor suppressor pathway. YAP and TAS regulate expression of a large number of genes, that are important in controlling organ size, tumorigenesis, and stem cell functions. The activity of YAP and TAS is mainly inhibited by LATS kinases of the HIPPO pathway. Upon phosphorylation by LATS kinases, YAP and TAS are sequestered in the cytoplasm, and undergo ubiquitination-mediated degradation. YAP and TAS are also inhibited by interaction with cell junction proteins. The corresponding HIPPO pathway components in Drosophila and human are shown in the table. If you want more information, or you have any questions about signal pathways, and other biological knowledges, please contact us via email. You can also log in our website. You can find me at www.creativebiomart.net for more information. Thank you for your attention.